Hey guys, today I want to show you the greatest bass intro ever. I'll see you inside the video. Hey guys, it's James here from eBay's Guitar, and I want you to imagine this. About a month or so ago, I'm on a rare day afternoon with my partner Vicky. We've just dropped our four-year-old son off with family, and we're going to the movie theatre, and we're going to watch the Top Gun Maverick film. By the way, it's absolutely awesome. I loved it. Anyway, we're sitting there watching the trailers, and a piece of music comes up, and a few bars into it, I go, I recognise that. That's one of the greatest bass guitar intros ever. So I want you to check this out and listen to this and see if you recognize it. But before I do so, I want to ask you, what do you think is the greatest bass guitar intro ever? Do let me know in the comments below. Now, let's see if you recognize this bass intro. is just eight bars and it sets the song up absolutely perfectly. But one thing I want to highlight just before we start is this song, the guitars have tuned down to E flat on the original track. So if you want to play along with the original song, what you need to do is either detune your bass guitar via half step, so it's E flat, A flat, B flat or G flat, or play the whole of this riff a half step down. But we are gonna learn it as if it's in the key of D on the bass guitar, how Duff McKeegan would have originally fretted it on the instrument. Guys, just before we hit the lesson content, I want you to know, completely free PDF that comes with this lesson, which will show you the whole of this credible bass introduction written out in standard notation and tab. You can grab your copy in the description below by clicking the link. Now, the first thing you need to understand about this bass introduction is the chord sequence running behind it. And it's over the verse chord sequence, which is simply two bars of D, two bars of C, two bars of G, and then two bars of D. And that makes up an eight bar loop, which is repeated round and round for the introduction and the verse sections of the song. The beautiful thing about this bass intro is it's super, super melodic. And that's because it's based around major scales, which give a beautiful sense of melody. Now, the first two bars of this over the two D chords is based around the D major scale. So what I want you to do is play a D at the 12th fret on the D string, and then just play the D major scale as far up as you can go. So two, four, one, two, four like so. So that is a D, E, F sharp, G, A. So fret 12, or fret 14, and then onto the next string, fret 11, 12, and 14. Then there's one extra note that Duff uses, and he slides up to this note there, which is the B, which you can get at the 12, 13, 14, 15, 16th fret there. So what I want you to do to begin with is just play the scale up back down and then you'll get the notes directly under your hands. Now this is the first phrase that I want you to learn. Like so. So let's break that down. So the first two notes are simply a D and an F sharp. So one da. And then we get this beautiful piece of melodicness after it. And what we're doing is we are aiming for the A note there at the 14th fret on the first beat of the next bar. So it's one. So practice that first of all, break the first two bars down into a one bar phrase. Like so, and again. Then what we have to do after that is I want you to slide into this B note, like that, and then come back directly down the scale. So it's a little bit tricky, but you have to slide onto the fourth finger and then back down. Simply straight down the scale like that. So you have the first two bars which sound like this. And again. And you can put that little beautiful 
will slide into the B there and it works really nicely. So let's move on to bars three and four now. So let me play it to you. And what we've done is we've moved into the C chord now. And what Duff is doing here is playing directly over a C major scale. So what I suggest you do is let's play the first five notes of the C major scale to get it under your hand. So we're gonna play C, D, E, F, G, like so. So that is simply a C at the 10th fret, a D at the 12th fret, and then onto the G string, and nine, 10, 12, like so. C, D, E, F, G. Like, and I suggest playing all of this with the one finger per fret technique because it will fall much easier under the hands. So let's look at the first bar of this. So what we're doing is we're playing the C, then halfway through the second beat, we jump up to the G. And then just at the end of the bar, we play another C, and then we land on the F on the first beat of the next bar. So we end up with this. And again. Then we go into this beautiful phrase that Duff plays, which I really, really love. And that is simply F, E, C, and then the same phrase. Just listen carefully to that rhythm again. Sing it round. So let's put the whole of those two bars together. It's this. And again. So what I want to do now is put the, all of the first four bars together. So really, that is the meat of it. Then it gets much, much simpler. So let's go through the last four bars. So when we hit the G chord, what I want you to do is play a G at the 10th fret on the A string. One, two, three. Like so, so one, two, three. And all I'm doing there is simply playing the root, the fifth and the octave of the G chord. So that is a G, a D, and then a high G there. And just count it out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And then we get this phrase again that we've heard before. Play that again. And that really is the same musical phrase that Duff played over the C chord in bar four. But up a whole step. And the phrase starts on beat four and of bar seven. And the notes are a D and then up to the G, F sharp, D. So the first part of the phrase. And then back up to the G, like so. So what I want to do right now is just play the whole of this really slowly. And I want you to follow along with the PDF notation and tab, which is either on the screen or you can download the free PDF, which comes with this lesson. So here it is super slowly. Guys, I'm going to start wrapping up this lesson now, but just before I go, I want to ask you if you've enjoyed this lesson, please make sure you subscribe to the eBass Guitar YouTube channel because we release a lesson every single week designed especially for the beginner to intermediate bass guitar player who wants to take their skills to that advanced level. There is a red button somewhere around this video and you'll be the first to know when a new lesson goes live. Now, just one thing before I play the demonstration, as I said earlier, the introduction and the verse is the same chord sequence. So what you can do to practice this intro is just play it round and round because it will work absolutely perfectly as I will show you right now.
at the end of today's video. Don't forget to download the free PDF that comes with this lesson. If you've enjoyed what we've covered today, make sure you jump over to ebassguitar.com and check out the Bass Lab Plus membership. That's my private step-by-step -step members training program where I help beginner to intermediate bass players take their playing skills to that advanced level. There's a link in the description below where you can check it out completely free for 14 days. Now, right now, I want to leave you one more video based on Sweet Child O' Mine from a couple of years ago where I took apart four of Duff McKeegan's incredible bass fills because that's another thing he is a real master of. So make sure you check out this video, which I believe is right up there.